Breaking news, U.S. government, Russia to hold security talks with Obasanjo. Can you imagine? They are not having the talks with the president of the country because they know they will not get the accurate information. What they will get is what we call lies upon lies upon lies. Okay, so Muhammad Buhari, when help is supposed to come for Nigeria, we go and tell them that, ah, we are working on it. Our security agencies are on top of it. We are doing all we possibly can. My dear, it's called a lie, fallacy, and the lies cannot even be measured. It's beyond you can imagine. You see, so this is part of what is going on. We have seen this again and again, and we have seen the lies being repeatedly thrown at our faces. Okay, with this government, with the people, and all that they continue to do. And so, Nigerians, it is a wake-up call, a sincere wake-up call for every one of us, for you, for me, for every one of us. Guess what? The leaders of the nations of the world wants to hold meetings and discuss security agencies as they know that Nigeria is going through. Guess what? They are not having that meeting with the president. Is it not a thing of shame that they are not having such a meeting with the president of the country rather than having that meeting? with somebody who is not the president. Why? You know, I mean, it's only a matter of time or will be revealed. You know, the real truth, the real people, those who are, who are for the truth, people know. At the end of the day, when the chips are down, people know the truth. They may be quiet and pretend that they don't know, but trust me, they know the truth. This is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. U.S. government, Russia, to meet with Obasanjo over security, over security. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has just clarified and has made it known that he will be meeting with world leaders. The former president noted this comment on the issue at a forum Convealed by the Global Peace Foundation and Vision Africa in Abuja, where, where, where meeting was held to discuss security issues. The U.S. government, Russia to host security talk. U.S. government, Russia to host security talk in January. Olusha Gwabasanjo has also been invited. The U.S., the United States, and Russia are set to hold much-anticipated talks in January on the Europe security in Europe security as well as what is going on in Africa. And former President of Nigeria Olusha Gwabasanjo has also been invited to the meeting. The meeting will be held in will be held in Ukraine and. Talks about the Ukraine peace will also be discussed. The conflict going on and them um, all being looked at in all being looked at, including the end of NATO expansion. The spokesman to the U.S. National Secretary Council told AFP on conditions of anonymity that the talk with Russia will take place in January on the tenth, twenty twenty-two. So. Basanjo has also been invited. Okay, Obasanjo has the president of Nigeria was not invited yet. Obasanjo, former president of Nigeria, has been invited. Can you see now that such a person, you know, why will world leaders, current presidents, Russia President Putin, uh, U.S. President uh, Joe Biden, are meeting, and Bolush, uh, President Muhammad Buhari is not invited? Is not coming for the peace or the, the security talks. But the person that, that is invited to come in and to look at things going on is a person who is not the president of the country. Does that not speak volume to you? What does he say to you? What does he say to you? So when you look at it, you understand what we are talking about, that there is more to this than beneath the eyes. President Muhammad Buhari has lost his credibility even before the eyes of the nations of the world. Everyone is watching. Everybody knows that he tells so much lies. Everybody knows. To a large extent, everybody is seeing what is going on, you know. Everybody sees it. We, we may all pretend, okay, you know, uh, we, may, we, we may all pretend and, you know, uh, uh, keep quiet and look, continue as if nothing is going on. You'll be shocked. People know. And, uh, you know, but again, 
you know, the nations of the world will not act based on speculations for them to be able to adequately speak, you know, uh, uh, con you know, conclusively on matters going on. They have to, you know, they have to, you know, they have to have evidences and the ev evidences has to be beyond reasonable doubt. Other than that, you know, they will, they will not, uh, they will not speak. So these are some of the things going on. Nigerians, <laughs> you don't know that the nations of the world know that Buhari, to a large extent, you know, it has a hand or responsible because uh, we know very clearly from the person called um, the former uh, head of state, General Sonia Bacha. General Sonia Bacha, he told us, he said, if insecurity continues and persists, you know, he said it, it, there's, only one, there's only one answer to that. It tells you that the government of the day either has a hand in it or is politicizing it and do not want it to end. That was what he said. Not my words, his words. I just gave you back word for word what he said. He said because any government, yes, in the nation with the army has the ability to quench and to put to an end some of those things you are looking at. He said, but if the government of the day, okay, if the government of the day do not they do nothing, it says if the go it said any government yeah has ability to end insecurity any government it said but if the government of the day do nothing about it and the thing continues and persists it said to a large extent it said that the government of the day has a hand in it do not want it to end or they are politicizing it his words not mine it said it's one of those is it that they are you know they are politicizing it they do not want it to end you know, or they just, you know, they are just doing it for themselves. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And Nigerians, we must continue to speak the truth and uh, we must not be relent from what we ought to, you know, to know and to do. The truth of it is every one of us have got responsibility, you see, to speak out against this injustice staring us all in the face. There is a call for every one of us to rise up. There is a need for us to, you know, recent, you know, particularly speak against evil and wrongdoing in our society. If we don't and we keep quiet, we give ourselves to chance. If we don't and we keep quiet, we allow these things to continue. You see, so that's why we cannot be quiet. We cannot watch evil continue to go on and we say nothing. If we do, ah, we have not done well. We've not done well. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.